finally I get to talk about X-Men 97. Oh, I've been waiting for this. Like the whole Wolverine series started in hopes of me getting to talk about him during this new X-Men 97 series on uh, Disney Plus. But for the longest time, I actually didn't have much to go off of in the series. And that's not because I didn't like the series. Actually, it's far from it. It's one of the best X-Men media out there in decades. I mean, at least since X-Men Evolution. However, it seems to focus on some of the other X-Men in combat more than Wolverine. Like we've seen a bunch of Gambit, a bunch of Rogue, and other characters. Which I can't say I blame them, considering how much of a central focus Wolverine has been for literally every other X-Men movie and show out there. I can't blame them for wanting to focus on a couple other of my favorite characters. And uh, if you want me to go over them, like maybe Cyclops or, or Rogue or Gambit, let me know down in the comments below. But it finally happened. The team up of the century with my absolute favorite X-Men and honestly, possibly favorite Marvel character as a whole, Nightcrawler. The Nightcrawler and Wolverine tag team fight goes so hard and so we're gonna break down and learn Wolverine's moves step by step, beat by beat. And if y'all blow this up, not only will I do Wolverine, but I'll do the other X-Men characters in the show and I'll do Wolverine and the Deadpool movie. What's up guys, it's the only ninja wearing aviators and a superhero hat and welcome to the Modern Ninja channel. And I am incredibly excited to go into this uh, tutorial mostly because it's a team up with my favorite X-Men Nightcrawler. Like I don't think I can say it enough. It's exciting. It lets me rewatch the scene over and over in slow motion without feeling like a crazy man, which I probably sound like one anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Now, for those that don't already know, this is the latest in a mini series breaking down and teaching you how to fight like Wolverine in real life. Basically, taking his scenes in different movies and shows, breaking down his moves and teaching you those same combinations. And you guys voted a poll a while ago for uh, your favorite X-Men variation to be the 97 cartoon variation. Like that's your favorite version of Wolverine. And so I wanted to bring this down for you guys for so long and I knew I couldn't let you down. And because now that we have a scene like this, I don't have to. But before we get into the tour, I have one more thing I wanna do, just like the last episodes, we've been putting out, uh, I wanna play a little bit of a game for you guys. I wanna see if you are a mutant or not, or maybe even an Omega level mutant. If you are a two, four, six, or eight, if the last number of your like is a two, four, six, or eight, you are a mutant. If the last number of your like is a one, three, five, seven, or nine, sorry, you're a normie, I don't know what to tell you. And if you get a zero, you are an Omega level mutant. So let me know what power you have down in the comments or what power you normies wish you could have in the comments, but let's get to the tutorial. Man, this video has been in production delay after delay after delay, but we're finally at it again with the Wolverine move that I wanted to do from the start. The reason I started this series or started with Wolverine to begin with was because I wanted to talk about X-Men 97 and oh, I already talked about that though. So let's get into the tutorial. Like I said, we're going over uh, this fight clip here where he's working with Nightcrawler going uh, through his combinations and which is what is really cool is that just like uh, the other um, the other instances of this character, he still uses that right, left, right, left kind of mentality. Very uh, beast-like, very core uh, motor motor skills going one to the other, to the next, to the other, just over and over and over. He actually does it throughout the entire fight scene, even when he's falling from the sky earlier on. But we're gonna talk about this specific combination right here, which I really like because it's just, uh, it's peak Wolverine in my opinion. And so I got out the claws again. If you wanna get claws like these or true, more true Wolverine claws, definitely check out the links down below. I'll leave links to both of them um, if you want to get them. So feel free to check them out. And if you do, tell Karate Mart I said hi. So we're starting off in our true Wolverine pose, right? Just it's tried through and through. It's, it's, a, it's an iconic pose. We're starting here. We're gonna go right 
left on our first guy to uh, our right side, right, left. And then we're gonna see that guy coming and we're gonna come with our right hand across as well. Just hitting all, both of those guys for the first three strikes. And again, start with your right hand. These strikes are gonna come across one, across two, and across three, just like uh, Wolverine, the previous Wolverine videos. Um, I mean, he sticks to a system that works. So we got one, two, three. From here, we actually do a side kick. What we're going to do is we're gonna take our back foot, because we just fought this guy, our back foot. We're gonna step behind our other foot. We're gonna lift our front foot and side kick the uh, sentinel away as we stab and land with our right hand. So again, we got one, two, three, step behind, side kick, and stab into that next sentinel. Now there's another one coming from back here. So we're gonna take the sentinel, block the other sentinel with a sentinel, and then shove them both to the ground. And whenever we do shove our sentinels to the ground, Wolverine really loves to just drop that one knee so he's using his entire body weight as opposed to just throwing them down with his arm and bending at his hips. He's bending at his knees, not his hips. Well, I guess he's kind of bending both, but I digress. Again, we have right, left, right, step behind, side kick, kicking with the bottom of the foot stabbing into the sentinel, turning, blocking, and driving them both down. From here, we're gonna take our left hand, strike down as we rotate our hips so we can get a solid strike. And then we're gonna pull our, our hips square, just like so. Both hands pulled back and dive both into our enemy at the same time. And again, just from a different angle, we're gonna strike with our left hand down, pull back, Double down, just like so. So again, we have one, two, three, four, five, turn six, seven, eight, nine. And that is our Wolverine combination. All the way through, it'll look something like this. And of course, don't forget to add in your Wolverine yell at the end because why not? We're being Wolverine today. It's it's a good day. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this. Uh, sorry it took so long to come out again. I was really just waiting for this scene to come out and it finally did. And um, seeing Logan and Nightcrawler team up was just, <sighs> it's my heart. My heart loves it so much. But Thank you guys so much. Honestly, it makes a lot that, you know, you guys watch the videos and like the videos and uh, interact. I love seeing you guys' comments and stuff like that. So it really does mean a lot. Thank you so much. I just want to get that out there. But regardless of how thankful I am, I will see you guys in the next video because my name's DJ Moore. This is The Modern Ninja, and I'm out. Be the modern ninja, but left off. Just know I'm dangerous. I'm on that Bruce Lee flow like water, state of mind Got me going farther than I ever thought I could have been Gotta grab a sheet of paper as you know I got the pin Anybody want to smoke your whole career be looking grim Out here flashing chains while your boy been in the gym Watch me spitting flames while the frogs try to